Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Elm Creek, episode number 27 here in Farm Sim 22. Today, we're going to be preparing our fields for year three. We're going to be fertilizing every field that we've got ahead of winter time, then skipping ahead, collecting all the pallets, of course, and ending up in spring where we'll start putting our first crops in the ground. If you like videos like this, or you just want to see more Farm Sim 22 in general, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss them. Oh, it said, let's jump right in. So we have a lot to do today. We've also got $7.3 million and that's about to go up because the very first thing we're doing today is selling fields. That's right. We're going to be selling some of the fields that we've got because I don't think we need half the map. So first thing, we're going to get rid of 38. We could use this. Yes. Do we want it? No. We're also going to fill uh, 36, 37. And this little one right here, fill 40. I'm not going to use it for anything. I'm just going to paint grass over it or something like that. So there you go. Those are our fields that we are selling. We're also going to reset our money to like 500 grand. I know we got 8.1 million right now. I think I cheated in 5 mil at some point, but I've cheated in a lot of money. So uh, we're going to have to subtract, I think, what, 76 or 7.6 million. So let's just go over here and remove money. Minus 7, 6 million. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we got 500 grand. That's really all we need to do what we want to do on this farm anyway, even though there's a lot to do. Eh, it's good. Let's go ahead and cut out some sound and let's hit this field. Oh yeah, by the way, we're going to or, uh, fertilize every single field that we've got. So if we come in here, easy thing to do, just like delete all of that and you can see all of your fertilizer. So we're going to put one stage down on our big field up here. We are going to put a stage all in the fields around our main farm, and we're going to put a stage over here on 68. At least for now, that's all we're going to need to do today as far as fertilizing goes. We also needed to lime 38, but I don't own that anymore, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, all right. Let's just go and hit this. Fertilize all the things. Yeah. Well, we've already got one field done, and as you know, we've got problems. <laughs> so we've got the big field done, but I totally forgot... I need to plow it. Now I could turn off periodic plowing and I wouldn't need it, but why not? <laughs> we haven't done any plowing yet. Everything we've done has been subsoiling and we've got the perfect thing for it. Now, one thing I need to do is we need to repair all these guys. I don't think I've repaired my vehicles yet. And, and that might be a problem. Uh, ooh, 46 grand to repaint. <laughs> not happening. Well, let's go ahead and repair that for whatever that cost we'll pull this to the side and we'll grab our other fin as well so there's one and we'll grab by the way people keep asking me dj what's your favorite tractor in the game that's one i like this one this is my favorite also i thought about changing the uh massey ferguson up for the jcb we used that in our little like one week challenge that lasted for three days i really enjoyed it but i don't know if i want to use it on this farm or not i'm kind of back and forth because I feel like if I use that too much, you guys might get a little upset with me using it on every single thing. So, oh yeah, I got this too. It's kind of neat. Uh, we might use this later on. I'm not sure. Hopefully, Blue Ogden Mod and get theirs in the game. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's go down. I want to see the tractors that we've got. So, owned items, goodness gracious. At least it fits on one page now. Um, let's see. We've got... On here, 517 horsepower, and then 296 in the 930. I might want to bump the power up a little bit. Only having that much power in here, I think our Massey's got more power than that does. Let's go over here. Let's customize it. Big engine? Yeah, that, that pops us up to 415 horsepower. I think that's where we need to be. There we go. Yeah! Now we got some power. Okay, now that we have power, we need to get some plews or some plows. Let's go through here. Let's find ourselves some goodies. The 6 and 9 MT. Of course, we're going with the 9 MT. Uh, we're going to get two of these. We're going to lease them. We're not going to buy them. We're just going to lease them. So the first one, let's see. We're going all black with the Fent red design color. Looking good there. That's for our black one. And then we'll go with the Fent green here. Natural John Deere. Man, I know. I wish it just said Fent Green and then the older Fent Green. That's what it used to be. It was so much easier to deal with back then. All right. So now we've got both of our plews over here. We're going to get these. We're going to put them on the other field. Now that 
is a setup right there that's what i'm talking about oh yeah so here's what i want to do i think i'm gonna run the uh the black one and then i'm gonna set off our green bad boy right here of course i turned it off i'm gonna set this bad boy off on a worker um now here is the thing the first thing i need to do is make sure that i run a bit of a headland for this because this guy ain't gonna be very happy otherwise also these fly i want to go in i want to make sure that we're running yep like that and you probably see that my my plows turned around yeah it's <laughs> so it works way better this way hang on check this out all right we'll unfold we'll make sure that we are set there we go speed is set i'm gonna come down here to where this tractor is and this is where i'm gonna start because i'm gonna hire him as soon as i take off i'm gonna hire him on the next set and then we will take over this tractor so we can go faster with it turned around like this well maybe not faster but it takes like zero effort whatsoever to run this it's really really nice look at this no effort whatsoever it's it's really nice but i still got way too much stuff though <laughs> all right we'll pull this bad boy around we'll set him well, <clears throat> missing a little bit but that's okay set him about right there ish up there yeah that'll work okay jump in here go ahead and oh tools attached it correctly <laughs> all right well that's not gonna work great for us is it can i turn myself into superman yes i can all right so it looks like to hire a worker you gotta have these turned around the right way i don't like that but i guess it is what it is all right there we go oh, oh, back out of it Come back over here. Attach. Cool. Now we could do that. Hire him up. And go, 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 go. Ooh, he's about to catch us. He's about to catch us. Oh, we going. Yeah, we're going and we're going faster. Because when you've got a turn around like this, there is zero uh, pull on the ground itself. So I could go just about as fast as I want to with the plow turned around like this. It requires zero horsepower. So you guys, you can run this massive plow. Now it's going to be heavy. Don't forget about that part. It's going to be heavy, but you could still run this just fine. Let's see if the worker goes into the bushes. Almost. He almost did it. <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run around this field probably twice. And then uh, I'm going to hire both of these guys on separate parts of the field. And we should be good to get back to everything. Also, we should probably double check and make sure it says needs plowing, doesn't need plow anymore. Sweet. Now that our plowing guys are doing their thing, we've just got a few more things that we need to do here. The great thing is most of these fields, you could do it one pass with this. Um, I can't remember exactly who made this. I think it was maybe uh, Mifu FS, or something like that. This is the small little Cavernland uh, fertilizer spreader. I'm not really sure which one it is. Actually, we could probably take a look just so you guys can see it and you'll know exactly what I'm using. Now, I've modified the heck out of this. So, yeah, it's a Convertible Exact the EL, but it's the modded version. I've made that. Uh, holds 100,000 liters, which is nice. Makes stuff really easy for me trying to get stuff done. Also, goes super fast. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, we're kind of on board right now. We're a little bit further behind where I wanted to be, but we're doing okay. We're doing, we're doing, uh, we're doing a okay. Also, someone had the idea of moving the honey pallet to another area. I want to try this. So this right here is my honey sp spawning area, right? Well, what if I demolish this, right? See, the great thing is with honey, you could put this literally anywhere you can see no pallet location available for the beehives because they're trying to do stuff well if i head over to the only place that i'm taking honey that's going to be over at the cereal factory if i place this there now most people can't do this but i've got a mod that allows me to place whatever i want wherever i want and a burp counter plus one shout out to g fuel for the burp counter today sorry about that guys uh if we put the bee counter here all right bee counter uh, if we put this here, right, what it will do is every time it spawns a pallet, it sells it. Just like that. So now, oh yeah, they're, they're, they're doing quick work. They're missing some spots, but they're doing quick work. 
So now if we come over here, the the honey pallets will spawn and they immediately sell in. So I never have to move honey pallets ever again. Quite a few of you guys have suggested that I do that, but I was like, well, will it actually work? And the answer is yes. Yes, it will. And, uh, and I'm going to get back to work myself and uh, get some of this fertilizing done. We've only got a few more fields to do, so this should not take very long. Every field is now fertilized and the field is now plowed. We've got three tractors that have to make their way back to the main farm. And this is one of the things that I love about Farming Simulator 22 and things that make it really easy. I'm driving a tractor and then in front of us, well, I've got the hiccups too, so <laughs> you can ignore that. I've got two tractors here, two, uh, to be fair, complete, absolute idiots. God, you guys suck. What is he doing? He's a drunken monkey. Get on the road. <laughs> Uh, that, I'm really glad I was recording that bit because that was terrible. Uh, I wanted them to drive over, back over here to the farm closely. Uh, turns out... Oh, is he... Just get on the road, you stupid idiot. He's just going left to right, left to right, left to right. I don't know which way to go. Oy. I'm just going to go park this up. But I wanted to get them all over here because it would definitely make things a whole lot easier. Now... We're going to have to be skipping about three months in game. So we're going to be going from... You're, you're fired, man. You're fired. Uh, we're going to be going from December all the way through March. Now, I don't know how much exactly we're going to be able to get done today because we've got a lot to do still. We've still got to do a bit of fertilizing. We've still got to put everything into the, cr or into the ground. And we've even got to pick up all the pallets. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to save every pallet that we collect. I'm going to save it all. And we're going to put it in like the middle of a field or something. And I just want to show you guys how much, how many pallets. Well, I guess we're not going to be getting uh, <laughs> rip the eggs, uh, but, or honey rather. Uh, but every pallet, we'll just like throw it over here in the middle of a field or something. Just so we can get out of here, birds. My video. All right. Uh, we should definitely fast forward time. Let's do it. Welcome to January and welcome to a beautiful winter wonderland. Oh, I love it. I totally forgot. We actually have to come through and feed all of our animals like daily. So uh, let's do that. Let's find ourselves something. I'm probably going to take the semi truck here because I got a bunch of pallets to pick up. So let's go ahead and do this. I've got it in all wheel drive already. I want to make sure that we've got our, uh, see, liquid tank to Euro pallet. Cool. There we go. And we're just going to come through and pick up all of the pallets. Every single pallet that we possibly can, we're going to pick them up. Also, getting in and out of here is going to be a lot of fun. And these wheels, I'm not sure how well this is going to perform in the snow, but you guys are going to go along with me because the snow is definitely my favorite time of the year in Farm Sim. It's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's a lot of fun and it's oh it's just incredible i love it let's go through here let's go ahead and get some wool uh actually you know what we could probably leave these for a while and these wool pallets they are not uh not good enough to pick up however we do have some chicken uh egg egg right meow so we could do this there we go there's one let's go ahead and jump in please let me jump in tell you what this is <laughs> It takes you a little while to get everything figured out. There's one. And yeah, we'll do the same thing over here. Please. There we go. I don't know what's going on exactly, but you have to like back out of the trigger marker for picking stuff up. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I had a couple people talking about the uh, grass here and asking, will this work? Well, the short answer is absolutely yes. Take a look at this. They are full of everything. But if we go to our chickens, for example, well, they need stuff. So this grass idea, that is working, and it's working really, really well. Eggs not accepted here. I think we're aware, home slice. <laughs> I think we get it. All right, moving forward, let's go ahead. I'm going to pick up the rest of these eggs, and then we're going to go through, and we're going to feed all of the animals. And, and yes, my FPS is... 
pretty rough. The one thing I did forget about it was all of this stuff, too. <laughs> every pallet, man. Every pallet. I said it. We're going to pick up every pallet. And man, oh, man, was I not ready. Oh, wait. This is flour. Flour's supposed to... Uh-oh. We got a problem. We got a big problem. Uh, do, 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 do. Not storing. No, it's supposed to be distributing. You idiot. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess... I guess... Well, there is a, a positive here. And this is the positive. Please, can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> it's right here beside it. So... Uh, there, there are worse things. There are many, many worse things. Going with a big brain move right here. I'm pushing one pallet and making them all go, yeah. <laughs> Super big brain stuff going on right there. All right. So now we've got some stuff in there. That should start producing some goodies for us. We've got, uh, let's see, bread picked up. We've also got some eggs picked up and we've got some oils picked up. Before we get to feeding the animals, we need to go pick up literally everything else around the rest of the stuff. So uh, clothing, I'm not really going to bother with that too much because we don't get a whole lot of that to begin with. So I'm not going to waste my time with that. We do have a bunch of oils and stuff to pick up. <laughs> we sliding, boys. Uh, we do have a bunch of oils and bread to pick up in our other areas. So let's go and do that now. First stop for the bread. Choo choo. I won't do that again. I think we got a couple over here. Yeah, not too much, but we got a couple. Boop, boop. Got them. I don't think we can get out this way. I will try. Crash counter plus one. Rip. I thought it was going to be the trailer that caused the issues. Turns out everything's totally fine. There we go. Did it sell any of the eggs? I didn't see any of the eggs disappearing. The eggs do sell back there, but I think it's full right now. We did set it up for doing cake. But I never made any. I don't have any of the butter or sugar or anything like that. I could cheat it in. It'd be super easy to do, but uh, barely an inconvenience. We'll see if anybody gets that reference. Nonetheless. All right, let's pick these up. Kaboom, kaboom. Got them, got them. Good to go. All right. Let's head back to the main farm because I got a funny feeling we're going to have a whole bunch of strawberries waiting on us. And I was correct. So I'm not sure if those are strawberries or tomatoes. We'll figure it out. Here, let's make a nice big wide turn right here. Oh yeah, there's the pressure washer that I've never used. What's up? <laughs> uh, these look like strawberries. And they are. Cool. All right, let's pick them up. Boop, boop, boop. Picking them up. Picking strawberries. Nice, nice. Come over here. Get a couple more while we're at it. You know. There we go. All right. So we're not full, but that's all of the pallets that we needed to pick up at least for today in game so very nice there Ooh. <laughs> it's heavy 17.6 tons altogether not bad we'll leave that sitting there let's do a little quick run over here and now we get to actually see does our animal feeding work and is it going to be profitable because well that's going to be a big key as well so let's turn it on I think, yep, the engine's on. Let's, no, we don't need to unfold. <laughs> Gotta love it. Unload here, okay. But it's not letting me start to fill. It's not allowing me to push the button. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Huh, I worry that the silos that we originally picked out are not gonna work for the chickens because if I come over here, we've got an autofill for the pig food. Well, if I go over and we select pig food, so it's buying the pig food, it is quite expensive, but it is also feeding the pig. You can see food is going up. So has me worrying a little bit. So now the pig food is completely full on that specific pig area. Let's see here. Let's find the one that's got the food all the way up. So here's our four pigs, base food, total effectiveness, da 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 Huh. Interestingly, only one of them's a little bit higher, but it's not all the way. So I may have to sit here and babysit this for a little while. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we've got it running and that'll run until it's empty. Let me show you that again because that was a little bit interesting. As soon as it stopped, I had to restart it again. So here we go. Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, was that pig food? I don't... Maybe. <laughs> I didn't think that looked like pig food, but okay. Well, it's taken it, so whatever. So you can see where it stopped right there at the very edge. And then I just restarted it again. We'll show you because we got, well, two more to go. Uh, so if you're doing this like I'm doing this, use the multi-filling station. Come through, pig food. Wait till it gets to the end. And then this is actually going to stop. And then just restart it. So right there it stopped. Just restart it again. Just like that. Perfect. And then <clears throat> Unamas one more time. And we're also going to have to do this with uh, straw as well. Which is a good thing, I guess. So we'll wait until this gets to the very end, and then we'll just punch the button one more time. There we go. Cool. So now all we gotta do is... Oh, hang on. Uh, this is grain. Um, and let's take a look here. Let's get a little close and see what it's filling up. That's well, filling up food. You know, I don't, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Got to be honest with you. Guess we'll figure it out. So it seems like it took about 40 grand to feed the pigs and they barely even needed it. <clears throat> so as you can see, I think we've got straw coming out right there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to, yeah, straw not accepted here. So what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is take this. We've got our engine. We need to force some... This is going to be fun. This may have not been the best way to do this. Just going to say that out loud uh, to myself here. Because if we go in, we can see we've got two pigs that are full of straw. And then we've got two pigs that are full of food, actually. Yeah. So... Uh, something I've done somewhere not really working. On top of that, uh, chickens. Oh, yeah, and it still makes a noise as well, which is very interesting. The chickens, I can't even get this to work. I feel like I feel like a fool. Uh, let's see. So start filling, but, you know, it's a little bit happening. Please start the engine first. Cool. Well, I do that, but nothing happens. So it didn't work like the other one. Just to see if anything happens, I'm going to delete this one real quick. Ooh, our dude is, is in overalls. We may want to get that done. All right, so we'll sell this. Yes, it's been sold. Cool. I'm going to go over here to containers. I'm going to find 82 Studios multi-fill station. We're going to take this and put it in just the uh, right spot. Right there, just like that. 2500 bucks down the drain. I'm going to take this, see if this does anything for us. I'm going to see if I can back up, move it around a little bit, maybe back it out of the uh, marker, and then bring it back in to the marker. So about right there. Wheat. Okay, so it looks like the multi-fill station works, but I'm not sure. Oh, it only costs 303 bucks for that. What about this? What if we move this out of the station? So we remove the mark to fill, and then we bring it back to start filling. Yeah, it's just not working. Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is get rid of these because I did cheat in the wheat to begin with. So we don't need that anymore. So demolish, and we're just gonna go through and demolish all of these. So it's not gonna do us any good. Oh, it's actually giving us a harvest income. So hey, at least we can make a little bit of cash back. So that's nice. So, what was that 28 grand? Yeah, 28 grand for each one. Not bad, but we will end up using that overall. So, I'm going to go back through. We're going to place down a bunch of these buying stations right here so that we can actually get some food for our chickens eventually, which will be very, 
very nice well guys that is going to be it for this let's play from elm creek i hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed the snow today oh i love the snow if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells on our own as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos on the channel if you guys have any questions about what i've done today or anything like that feel free post them in the comment section below we'll help you guys out otherwise hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace